uh, why uh, Hamas would uh, be a third gender? No, I was the opposite. Bruiser like, was what, saying what, why hermaphrodites would be a third gender. I was saying they wouldn't. You were saying they wouldn't be a third gender? Yeah. Okay. I actually beat Bruiser in that debate. Wait, is it true that he was a field mice in here? Who? Is it true that Bruiser was a field mice in here? I'm not sure who that is. His user was Bruiserweight. I can drop some scans of him spurging out on me in general. <laughs> is that you, Pastor? In a past life, past yeah. <laughs> nah, you didn't win, but I had to leave. Had to... Wait, who said I didn't win? I had to leave. I had to... I'm pretty sure I told you that. <laughs> oh, I mean, you said you'd be back in two hours, and then I at you in like two wrong. hours and 15 wrong. minutes. And yeah, then you told yeah. me, F you, I'm coping with something or something. So, like, you could have just rescheduled. That would have been fine. Yeah. Didn't so like, out on me. Mon- that was on a Monday. That was on a Monday. It's- Oof. <laughs> I mean, if you want to continue that debate, I'd be fine with it. We can do it after. <laughs> All right. We got a few stuff to <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. I'm on. Damn. I'm cool, dude. Do you want to start? Um. Sure, that's fine. Um, wait, wait, hold on. Before we start, real quick, what did I agree to? I kind of forgot. What were the parameters? It's just like a. We're both just being. I picked him. I picked him off. All right, all right. Um. All right. So um. Let's see. All right, I'll, I'll I'll go to scaling moderate's uh, speed first. Then, hold on, give me a sec. Or actually, I'll scale his AP. Give me a minute. Hold up. Uh, by the way, which which chat do you want to drop scans in? By the way. All right. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so um Madara would be relative to uh to uh Kaguya. And uh Kaguya was gonna destroy her uh her dimension, right? Which was a, a space time. So that would make him uh universal plus because uh, he's relative to character who's gonna destroy four D space time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Space time should be inherently 40. Yeah, you didn't have to specify that as well. Continue. Alright, um... Alright, um... And then if you want, I can provide, you know, consistencies for this. Or did you want to scale your character? Or did you want to scale your character's AP first? Yeah, you have a response right now. Can you repeat that? You have a character at universe plus right now, right? Yeah. So, so, infinite was say to be honest, all it's most powerful in the world, and uh, that would mean that would kill mean the void is going to destroy the entirety of imaginary world, and imaginary world is going to be a dimension, and dimensions and sonic are parallel to the Alright, can you provide scans for that? No, last one. Like, like, the part about um dimensions being parallel. Uh, yeah, the, the part about him. Uh, like uh, him. I think he said he was he was busting the dimension, and then the part about 
dimensions being parallel universes, both of those, please. Awesome, 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 awesome. Why I'm looking for you. I want to point out that I'm just down. Down. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you on the chair. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, you're actoring. So can you move my chair for that? Oh, okay, yeah, I'll put on push to talk then. Give me a sec. Um, I posted the video and in informal debate of the um, basically just confirms that uh, Sonic and Blaze dimensions are parallel universe. Which is like dimension it's like it just refers to dimensions in general. Okay, I see. Hold on, give me one second. I'll be back with the um other screen that you want. Alright. Oh, by the way, Striker, I think it would be a good idea to note now, since you said uh, you might upscale your character later if you need to, I guess uh, uh, I, I can also upscale my character later, I suppose. Um.
No, I'm having. If I can't find a scan. I'll just use a simpler argument. Um, Solaris was going to destroy all of them, um, all of the dimensions and timelines and so on. And the guidebook implies that it was by one by it was one by one. So that obviously just be like a universe clause. All right. So you want to get into speed now, or do you want me to do that? Well, can you drop that scan real? This thing for implying Solaris is destroying them one by one. <laughs> Or that he was going to destroy the dimensions and home ones. Uh, the ones that said he was going to just destroy the dimensions. Alright. Now this is simple to find, so it shouldn't take me to find. Alright, cool. Oh, there's the timeline statement. I'm like, I'll get the dimensions. Right. All right, uh, I'm gonna watch that real. Quick. Hey, wait, can you give me like a timestamp, like where to go? Um, if you click on the link, it should bring you directly to the timestamp. All right. Consume all existing timelines, and time itself will collapse and disappear into. It didn't. It just brought me like to the beginning of the video. All right, hold on. This time space. All right. Your time stamp should be like all right, five minutes and forty-six seconds. All right, give me a sec. No, it is a transcendent life form that exists in the past, present, and future. Defeating it here now would do nothing. No, I won't give up. There has to be a way. If you say it exists in the past, present, and future, I'll destroy them all at once. Certainly. It might have been possible if he was still alive. Sonic! Sonic! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? I feel Sonic's presence in the wind. I don't think he's dead yet. I'm sure of it. It's not too late. Of course. Let's call him back with the power of the Chaos Emeralds! Focus your All right, here's the dimensions. Power to perform this miracle. <laughs> if the link doesn't work, timestamp is 26 seconds, or 26 minutes and 47 seconds. Alright. Understood. That's probably the light shells that can be seen on his body. If all of those are destroyed, he can be defeated. Everyone, you need your drinks to stay in the super state, but I'll take care of this. This is the end. Prepare to meet no. your doom. Since we have our characters have a scene, um, are you gonna go into speed for you want to go at speed first? You can go first. I um, I guess I'll downplay for now. Um, so, the light speed dash is a technique that Sonic can use, and it's stated that, you know, using it, you're just traveling um, across rings at the speed of light. And Sonic Unleash, um, I believe, you know, in the game, Sonic speed is giving him this measurement. The light, when he uses the light speed dash, his um, speed comes around to like 
359 SPD, which is the unit they use. And um, Sonic's top speed in that game is like 3959, something like that. I can get the stands for if you want those. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Double. Alright. So. Oh fuck, I fucked that up. Hold on. Alright, so the first thing they posted shows that the speed Sonic goes out when he's using the light speed dash is 390. And, um. Alright, so you, you're arguing he'd be, like, unquantifiably faster than... Uh, no, his top speed in the game is 3519, right? And that would be over nine times faster than white. And, um, for the second one, um, the timestamp would be, like, the SPD. And oh, man, like, can, you can, reach up what, what, can you prove the SPV units would be linear? These numbers are without camera turns. Mm -hmm. They can either prove them, or why would we assume they aren't? Well, you you said they'd be nine times faster. You're assuming it'd be linear. Why? Why would you make that assumption? Okay, yeah. would, okay. If we go with awesome trace. We take like we're making more assumptions to say just like a non-linear unit rather than just um saying it is. They're just say, assuming it is. Well, that, I was just asking why you think they're linear. Like, was it stated? Is it? Does it make sense in the series? Like, is it consistent? Yeah. It would make sense, and um, this this um, measurement thing only appears in this game. So, okay, <laughs> all right, that's fine. All right, so if you want to scale your character speed, you can do that. Yeah, all right, give me a sec. How many times faster than light did you say Solus was? Well, I think infinite was like over nine times. Yeah, over nine times. I can get the specific thing if you want that. But... Yeah, that'd be helpful. Hold on. No, I posted the number in general. Um, that's why I just have them that for now. Yeah. All, right, all right. Oh, um, I forgot to explain why this would even scale to infinite. It stated that infinite is faster than song. Not only that, um, he keeps up with him consistently. So. All right, can you show scans of that, please? It being stated that he's faster than Sonic, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, I posted the scan, by the way. Alright, cool. Give me a second, I'll get to scaling my character. My character speed. Uh, alright. <clears throat> I was trying to find something, uh, but I can't find it, so I'll just go about it a different way. I hear this. All right, so um, all right, so uh, Madara would be faster than KCM One Naruto, who blitzed the Raikage so fast he would have to have a uh, be seventy two plus times faster than the Raikage, who's confirmed light speed. Um, I guess I'll upscale my character. Or is, are you are or are you gonna go into more space? Uh yeah yeah you can upscale your character. That's right. No, see, I'll explain the feed for you. Know. Then I'll find the fucking cow um, in. I think Sonic. So there was Sonic Advance three, right? Sonic was um in the super form. Sonic traveled to like a star cluster within six seconds. Like, and this was calculated like, um, over a billion times faster than life. Now, not only should um, his base scale to this, because Eggman himself performs the feat in his own. In his uh, fucking Eggmobile, which he can, which Sonic consistently scales to. Um, Infinite should scale beyond Sonic's super form anyway. So he should be faster than that. Um, I'll show the calc. All right, thanks. All right, so I think it'll be a good idea for me to upscale my character. You're fine with that, right? Yeah. All right, cool. I can post the count. All right, thanks. Um, I could argue for the high end, but I don't think that's necessary as of now. Alright.
You're going to pay for this! I'm just for clarification, the cow puts infinite or so, the feet at um, over 800 million times faster than mine. So guys, let's give a warm welcome to Sam Mullen. Oh, Growlick, the topic is infinite versus modern. Yep. Um, yeah, and just to inform you guys and on the call listening, make sure to type out anything in like the commentary if you're gonna like talk about the debate. We'll get here. Eh? No, not you, Paul Gallagher. Talking cool geeks and stuff. You want to go up still as a model? Ideally. Oh, I'll get a few minutes. By the way. Um, Punk Rider, are you recording? Yeah, I am. Just in case. Okay. This keeps Just happening to Geek, by the way. Discord keeps disconnecting him. Oh, he's being power nulled. Yeah, shit sucks. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to take that call. Okay. Yeah, you can upscale right, your character. So, um, wait a second. You can upscale your character. All right, cool. So, um, so Madara in speed would scale to like uh, Momoshiki. Um, and uh, here, I'm going to drop the calc right now because Momoshiki has a, a feat where he pulls Chakra across the universe with his Rinnegan. And um, it was calced at a, a few billion times light speed at, at the low end. I guess I'll just upscale for it again. Um, it's stated that Sonic can reach infinite speed. Right? Uh, or it's super form, rather. Right? And I did explain, though. I said earlier that infinite should be our, at least relative to, that it should be beyond Sonic's super form with his um, Phantom Mania. And um, in Sonic Mania, the Phantom King is able to you know, combat the classic form of Super Sonic. And uh, that should be relative to the modern form. 
thing. Wait, can you repeat that again? The entire thing just lost part. Yeah, sorry. You, you, like, you're real quiet. Alright, hold on. Alright, um. I say, um, there is, there's a statement saying that Supersonic can reach infinite speed, right? And, um, infinite should scale to the um, Sonic Super form because the Phantom can in Sonic Mania. Um, it's able to combat the classic version, or the mo yeah, it's able to combat the classic version of Supersonic, right? And classic Supersonic should be relative to modern Sonic, right? which, which like this infinite speed statement should be like applying to that one. So if they're relative, that should mean he would have infinite speed as well. All right, can you provide scans for everything you just? Everything. Let me get the infinite speed thing first. Yeah, scans for infinite speed. Yeah. And like why it's consistent. And you said why it's consistent. Um, I will point out that this is only the downplay. This is I could argue higher feeds, but um, most of Super Sonic's appearances are in games where um, he performs feats that aren't really quantifiable at face value. So the only other like feats I could bring up would just be faster feats that I don't want to bring up at the current. All right, that's fine. Just uh, drop the infinite speed thing, and uh, I'll up I'll go about upscaling moderate. Here's the infinite speed one. I'll All show. Right, thanks. All right, all right. So um, I'll upscale uh, Madara now then. Uh, so in the fourth data book, it was stated Hashirama had uh, infinite chakra, or if you want me to quote it verbatim, it says his chakra had no bottom. So uh, he and then chakra amps all stats in Naruto, and uh, that would include speed. So he would, by extension, have infinite speed. That wouldn't necessarily be infinite speed, but right? it can amp like hold on. So. You can have like an infinite amount of chakra, but that doesn't necessarily mean his own power or his speed is being boosted up by that amount. Okay, but in this case it would, um, because right because he'd use an infinite amount of chakra to amp his speed because chakra amps all. Okay. Uh, I think that's fine. Um, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Wait a second. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I don't think I'll have to upscale for now. Um, if I have to, I will later. I'll just um, go into hacks now. So, Infinite can create clones of um, his enemy. And uh, these clones should ha be around the same power. But they should be equal to, or, or um, yeah, they should be equal to the people he creates. Because in the game, in Forces, he was able to create clones of himself, Metal, Sonic, Zavok. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog and Chaos Zero, and it is um blatantly stated for Shadow that um for one of the clones for Shadow that it was as strong as um the real Shadow, and so that means he he can create clones of characters that are as strong as they are. And it's also stated that like their powers are in, like no way inferior to the original, which would mean that they would have their same hacks at the same scale. Right? Because you know, obviously powers would refer to not just like attack bonus. No. And being in no way inferior would mean that they're, that they're just on the same. So. All right, can you provide scans for that, please? Right. Find the shadow one first. Yeah, I want to see how we, you know, created the the copy or what.
There is the scan for um, it being stated that their powers are just as formidable, right? Um, I think the, what it was called, the no way inferior thing was said in the Japanese, but the English one works fine. But I'll get the um, other one. Okay, I see. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna argue that, um, Okay, well, how does well can you uh, explain how the technique works? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, basically, infinite just has powers over like virtual reality shit, right? So he's able to create he's just able to create virtual reality projections. And, um... Okay, I see. Um, all right, so I'm gonna argue that Ma uh, Madara would just be able to copy the ability with his Rene Sharingan, since he can copy. Uh, anything under his, uh, like, that he has, say, jurisdiction over, like, uh, anything, like, physical, spiritual, mental, or even in some extents to, like, reality, um, like, reality hacks, uh, so he'd just do the exact same thing, uh, and create a copy of your character, um, if you want, I can provide scans for that. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, I'm getting the scan for um Shadow Shadow's clone being as strong as he. Alright, so, um, he can, okay, so that's just a few of the scans, uh, I have more. Unless that's enough for you. Um, there's the other screen I mentioned. I'm going to fight your stuff. Okay, I will say that these, um, this first one is kind of blurry. I think, in, um, I think it's legible enough. Yeah, I'm gonna about the other scans if you'd like, but okay. those are the first three. I What's the context of the first one? Because um, it says that it's like, oh, he's copying him. And it's like a subtitle, it's like, oh, mind copying. And you have to give context to it. Okay, so, um, alright, so in the manga, when the Sharingan was first debuted, um, uh, like, uh, Kakashi whipped it out. Uh, actually, he only had one Sharingan, but that, that doesn't really matter. He was able to, and they were describing, like, what it can do. Like, I think it was, like, Sasuke in the background was like, yeah, the, that's a special ability. He, You can copy the person's body and mind, and by extension, their jutsu. And uh, in Naruto, their jutsu uh, are, well, jutsu directly translates to technique in English. Um, so any technique the uh, enemy would have, 
the, the, the Sharingan user can copy, essentially. Um, if you'd like, I can provide, like, more scans for, like, the type of abilities they can copy if you'd want. Okay. Well, I'll just ask, has this, like, ever been shown to, like, not work in the series at all? Uh, sort of. It doesn't work on, uh, it has, it's been not shown to work on KK Genkai. When used by a character that, say, doesn't have said Keke Genkai, uh, which is a bloodline trait in the series, although that was only, like, uh, Kakashi and Sasuke who couldn't do that, um, back when they only had regular Sharingans and, like, regular Chakra, but Madara has Yin Yang release, which is all of the Keke Genkai in the series, uh, and this would mean that he'd have full control over everything that would be, say, like, mind, body... Uh, soul, all of that stuff, uh, and and also reality to some extent. Look at the second one. Oh, okay. This makes sense. I don't. If I upscale, I think it's just be you more know, fun. I'll just bring up the BFR uh, Infinite. You can create um, portals or rifts into a realm called No Space. And No Space is just this realm where it's like it's a realm of nothingness, right? And nothingness, so it's outside of like all dimensions, right? Which would mean it's just like outside of all universes and so on. So. Um, since it's like outside of all dimensions, right? It wouldn't have like it wouldn't be like it wouldn't have like space time, right? Because there is um, evidence to support space time being the fourth dimension and so on. But if it doesn't have like space time, that'd be like there would be no time there. So if you can't create a shopping gear, they wouldn't be able to move unless you like upscale it. Okay. Um. Well, first, can you provide scans? So, I just posted the video showing that Infinite can create this one, the rifts for no, um, turn on, um, the Japanese version. So, I'm turn on your, the captions for English, because the guy translated it, like, he, he posted the translations using the captions. Um, basically, he calls it, like, a realm that's, like, closed off in every dimension. And, um, hold on. Uh, alright then. <clears throat> and he also calls um... it a Okay, I can upscale then. I'll upscale uh, my character speed then. Alright, so uh, I'm just gonna argue that uh, because of... Uh, Alright, so uh, so n since Madara is 4D, right? Uh, 
and he's 4D because of his chakra potency, right? Uh, it, that would also amp his speed to inaccessible because if his chakra potency can destroy space time, it would also be inherently be able to create space time, and it's it's essentially a catalyst for space time to exist, right? So, uh, and this is actually backed up by the fact that they can use their chakra to do a bunch of things, uh, like uh, in like relations to time. He can like uh, like create space times. They've actually been shown to like create full blown space times uh, and other things like that. So you'd be arguing that since he has like 4D power, that he would have four on um, immeasurable speed, right? Something yeah, he'd like be like at least inaccessible speed. Yeah, or inaccessible. Possibly. Well, well, Sonic is able to move in this one. And, um, he has inaccessible. He would have inaccessible speed scale enough of that, obviously, in infinite scale. So, so at the very most, the character would be able to move in it. They wouldn't be able to necessarily get out, get out of it. Um. Okay. Um. All right. So since Madara has the Rene Sharingan, right? Uh, it it allows you to transport between dimensions. So he would be able. Between them, but. Well, this this specific place is like closed off from all of them. Um. Okay. Why would that matter? Because um, if it's um, if you can't like there's um, you basically just like sealed in a realm where like it's not closed off from all dimensions, right? And if you can just like exit places that presumably wouldn't be closed off, we shouldn't assume that it would be able to work the same way in this scenario. Okay, can you define closed, like, can you, like, provide scans for what they mean by closed off? What is, right. what is that? Okay, explain. Um, it's just detached from pretty much all universes. I will also bring up that it is stated that it, should, it would be impossible to get out of no space, right? And Eggman, it was stated by Eggman, right? It would be impossible. Um, I can go over why um, Sonic got out later, because that was just on um, new stupidity, but I can... Elaborate that on soon, but basically, Eggman called it impossible to get out, right? And he should be aware of like the dimensional travel capabilities of things like the Chaos Emeralds, right? or like the Phantom Ruby Zone. Why? Why? Because like, he's been using them for years. And there is a game story specifically, like Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventures. They specifically use the Chaos Emeralds and I think the Soul Emeralds for dimensional travel. And Eggman's been like trying to capture, use these chaos emeralds for um, most of his most of his life, trying to take over the world with these for the longest time. And um, hold, was, on. hold on, was that one game with the dimensional travel? Was that? Hmm? Was the one storyline with the dimensional travel can? I mean, we assume all the games would be can because you know, they just build off of the prior stuff. Um, Okay, that's okay, fine then. The game right, is so a reference can you prove it be Okay, yeah, why yeah. would it be plot and do stupidity for Sonic to escape? Um, so, um, basically, right? It is fucking... Yeah, so basically Sonic was just like, nothing could contain him, or the, him and the OC character just like used a technique called double boost, right? And double boost just, um, allows you, it's just like them combining their maximum power to like, break through it or whatever. It just stated that um, the n nothing can contain of us at the max power, right? N not even most space, right? So they just like went full power and started running, which 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 together just fucking broke them out of the But it, that wouldn't make any sense, and so it's like not even elaborate further on how they really got out either. Though, I guess if you want to judge by like the gameplay of no space, then through like joining forces created a portal, which would which would which would also explain why. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, okay, so, uh, it, okay, so it doesn't seem like it's plot and do stupidity for them to get out to me, uh, it just seems like they have, you know, when they combine their power, they got some, like, weird way to get out, like, it, is it consistent that they won't be able to get out, because you said it's one statement for it's impossible to get out, um, that's a bit odd of a statement, anyway, like, why would you take that at face value? Eggman was researching the Phantom Ruby for hello long, right? Because Infinite was supposed to be like this like ultimate creation that was gonna help him achieve his goal of like finally create on um, taking over the universe, right? 
or not the universe, like the planet or the planet Earth, right? So, um, fucking, dude, obviously, like, have good, extensive knowledge on it. And, um, even if this is, like, even if, like, this one thing where they, um, use this, like, portal thing to get out, it's not necessarily, like, this, it wouldn't necessarily be the same as on your characters on means of getting out of it. Then I could also bring up the fact that um enforces this like this is like overall um overlying theme of like the power of friendship and how it's like how they can just like do anything if they have the power of friendship right um and then at the end of the game it's pretty much just like implied that Sonic defeated Infinite using like heart soul and the bonds of friendship right and um basically it's just like because of like their bonds and shit or whatever. They were just able to like just, um, overcome like the the struggles they went through throughout the entirety of the game. All right, uh, can you provide scans for the um for the the way they beat Infinite? Uh, that yeah, I appreciate it because and my and the other thing I wanted to say was just because there's no way in the Sonic verse to escape. Why would that mean that Modera's uh, methods wouldn't work? Why would that at all work? You brought up how like Modera would just have like dimensional travel, right? So I brought up that Eggman should be aware of like dimensional travel abilities. So, and if he's saying it's impossible, right? Then he should also be aware that um, it wouldn't work, right? or that the dimensional travel I don't um, like no dimensional travel wouldn't work. Like, but also, I can also bring up that the Phantom Ruby itself. Also has dimensional travel. He's like, you know, so even then he still. Okay, stays so what type of dimensional travel would it be? The pipe. Um, well, does it like transport only your body, only your soul, your body and your soul? Like, how does it work? Because different types well, of dimensional travels can have different limitations. Well, basically, from what was shown in Sonic Mania, from to travel from the classic Sonic's dimension to modern Sonic's dimension, they just um. You could like this wormhole, right? and like as soon as they, I believe, um, if I remember it correctly, as soon as they went in and just closed, it, and um, basically just brought them to this other dimension. Um, I guess it would only, be, I would assume it would bring their body and soul, since like souls as a con we know souls exist, but like ghosts exist and so on. But I mean, if you want to argue that like Modern would just like be fine without his soul, I guess you can argue that. Yeah, Madara would be fine without his soul or without his body, like, either one individually. He could just, like, like bring his soul back uh, with Izanagi. So, yeah, he'd just be fine if he lost. So, you're saying, okay, so he'd be fine without his body. So, if he were to be pulled in by the sun into the BFR, his soul would still be there, right? That's what you're saying? At the very uh, least. Yeah, possibly. Like, he could leave his soul and just, like, bring his body and then just regen his soul. Okay. Wait, repeat that last part. One more time. He can, like, regen his soul. Alright, he can regen his soul. Hold on one moment. Okay. So, to make sure I'm understanding this, right? You're saying that Madara can just, like, his soul can just leave his body, right? So, like, he can just leave his body to go into North Space and then just, like, have his soul then regen from that point? Right? Yeah, essentially. So, um, can you, like, show me this region and how it works? I mean, can you show me this? Yeah, show me how the region. Okay, well, it, it stems from, right, the fact that, uh, I'll, I'll explain, then I'll drop the scans, right? Because, so, uh, so Hagoromo, right, even as a ghost, is able to do things, same with Obito. Uh, even, like, their ghostly forms can interact with, like, physical bodies. And also, just the nature of yin-yang release itself, right? It You can create a body and, or a soul, right? So either way, like if his like body gets wrecked, he can just create a soul. Like uh, he can create a new body, 
Same same with like the soul. If his like soul gets wrecked, he can just like make a new one with the yin yang release. I'll drop the scans, give me a second. Alright, so there's that scan, and if you want, I can also give you the scan of how Hagoromo's, like, ghost body gave, uh, like, Sasuke some, like, actual, like, physical power, if you'd like. Like, it was, like, weird. It was, like, physical power and hacks. It was really So, he could, like, touch people, despite being a soul. Yeah, despite being a soul, he can, like, still touch people and use all of his hacks, including, like, his body and mind hacks. Yeah. Like, uh, and, like, the same ability Naruto used to, like, create, I think it was, like, an eye for Kakashi, and also the Sage, the Six Paths used it to, like, create bodies for, like, the Nine Biju, because at first it was just the Tentails. So he took the soul out of the Tentails, divided it, and put it in, like, these bodies that he himself made. Like, he made the bodies to put fragments of the soul in and then give them personalities, like, their own individual, like, conscious sentient minds it was really weird so would you like scans for that yeah All right, hold up, give me a second. Um, this scan first one um, from the manga, it's like really blurry. Alright, let me see if I could uh, find a better one. So I'll be right, I'll be right back, give me one second. All right.
All right, I have returned. To All right, I got a better version of the scan. It's like smaller, but that should like that's pretty much the important. I dropped two scans, by the way. One's a little bit more informative than the other. Um, freshman, what you're arguing with these two scans again, by the way? Okay, so um, this is showing how like Madara would be able to like create a body from. Uh, also, how his soul can, like, still, like, interact with, like, physical people. Uh, also, how he could, like, like, he, like, can, like, manipulate souls, even create them. Um, and I, let's see, did I drop that scan already? Let me see, I might have to find the scan where he does that. Hold up. Oh wait, no, yeah, the, the the scan I dropped a while back, the one where it says, uh, uh, let's see, he can, um, hold up, let me see, hold up, I'll read it and then I'll read it and then I'll. See. Hold up, wait, I didn't drop it. Hold. Up. So, from what I'm getting, it's like for the first time, the one I wanted you to get like a clear scan for, it's basically just saying that he'd be on someone with their, that whatever, like the jutsu or whatever, she'd be able like, to create things, right? And um, basically, can you like show me that, that like Mario is able, like does this? Does like, yeah, can you oh, show me like, 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 like a spirit like... doing, yeah, something like that? You want me to show you he has the Indian release, basically? Well... Yeah, pretty much. Alright, hold on. And, um, specifically the thing about the souls being able to, like, do shit up, well... Yeah, yeah. Souls being able to like, use other stuff. Well, him being able to do stuff while he's a soul. Cause, um... Oh, well, I already dropped that one, right? Uh, cause keep in mind, Yin Yang release is the same between everyone. There's no reason to think that it would change. Uh... It, like, uh, I could drop the scan of Hagoromo Otsutsuki, the Sage of Six Paths, the original, well, one of the original havers of Yin Yang release. Um, he, he legit, like, gave Naruto and, like, Sasuke powers. It was freaking weird. He, like, legit, like, transformed Sasuke's eye and, like, gave them new power. It was really weird, dude. But, yeah, uh, I dropped the scans. Um, the one with the old guy with the robe. Uh, I think in one of the, or, one or both of the scans, he's, like, floating. That's his ghost, like, giving the powers to Naruto and Sasuke. Okay. Um, I will say that, um, if it's just, like, power bestow, um, it would take, like, him some time to do it, which would mean he would still be, like, his soul itself would still be, like, threatened by the DFR. Or it should be like vulnerable to it if you have to like take time to use it. Okay, well, not exactly, right? That's, uh, he can use power bestow, but like that was just showing you that he can like do stuff while he's a soul. Well, okay, you will just show me that he did it while he was a soul. Wait, can you repeat that? I just need the evidence that he was able to do, that he was doing this while he was just a soul. Alright, hold on.
All right, in the scan I just dropped in the the paragraph at the bottom left, it states that he like died, and then he like had to get like he had to do stuff while he was dead. Um, not Goroma was doing stuff before he died. Um, why would that mean that Madara would be able to do do the same thing just because he has his the? Because it's the exact same t like it's like it's li he literally can. Okay, here I have another scan, but Madara can do pretty much everything the Sage can. Just give me a sec. Oh, like hold on. Okay. Cause um, unless I'm like unless I'm missing something, this doesn't necessarily make it as a feat of like the jutsu you're referencing. It's just like Hagoromo just did that. Alright, yeah, that scan telling you that Moderator can do pretty much all the exact same stuff, uh... Did you see the scan? I'm looking at it, but I'm not. This, oh, this doesn't really that um. This doesn't necessarily prove that he would be able to do the same thing um Kagoromo did because for one, this more so just seems like they're describing an event that happened, and two, this doesn't to make it seem to be like a feat of the jutsu because um Kagoromo can just like like Kagoromo being able to like do shit after his death could just be like a feat of Kagoromo. Doesn't necessarily mean anyone with a jutsu would be able to do. Okay, well, either way, it says uh, Madara reached the, uh, like, the full abilities of Hagoromo. Why would he not have that? Like, why would he have, like, truth-seeking orbs and re uh, Rene Sharingan and, you know, all these other techniques and not that? Like, the he literally has everything. The full abilities of Hagoromo? Like, he has, like, all of the abilities Hagoromo has ever shown. So, but like, like that one is the only one that hasn't been specifically shown. So why would that uh, ability be the only one that's not specifically shown? Uh, sorry, I, I I misworded that. Why would that be the only one that he doesn't have, even though he has like all of the other ones? Well, for one, this isn't necessarily an ability. This is just um immortality for Hagoromo, right? And um again, like we don't know, we don't have like unless you can like show evidence that like this was a feat. If he was immortal because of the jutsu, then we wouldn't assume Madara was, because it's not like, because it wasn't like at all implied to be because of the jutsu. Well, even if it wasn't that jutsu in specific, I'm arguing he'd be able to do it no matter what you say, because he would inherently be able to do essentially everything Hagoromo has. Like everything Hagoromo has. Hold on. I'm looking at this page, you know, it doesn't seem like Hagoromo is mentioned in this page at all. 
not by exact by name, but it says the Sage of Six Paths. Hagoromo was known as the Sage of Six Paths, you know, when he was like, like all of the characters on screen, like before he's actually introduced, call him the Sage of Six Paths. So that's what the guide is calling him. Okay. So the true power of the Six Paths was only, is that like, no, is that what you're talking about? Art makers argument? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. True power doesn't necessarily mean he's using all of it. Like, if I use my true power, that can just mean, like, I'm using my most potent abilities, or, like, I'm just using my full strength. It wouldn't necessarily mean he's using everything, or would have everything. Okay, hold on. Okay, um, all right, hold on, I, I, so, Madara, okay, so, uh, I, sh I gave you the scan of how Hagoromo gave, like, half of his abilities to, like, like, half of his everything to Naruto and half to Sasuke, uh, well, Madara literally says that he, like, he says, oh, Sasuke, you have the Rinnegan and this and that, and Naruto, you have Six Path Sage Mode and this and that, well, I have all, and, uh, stuff like that, so... He would inherently have the the soul ability as well. It, yeah. it wouldn't make yeah. sense on a narrative level for him not to. I'll explain this again. This soul thing isn't necessarily ability granted by the Jutes. If Hagoromo was like giving his own abilities to Naruto, Sasuke, Madara just had like every ability that like they gave him. Right? And, like it doesn't necessarily prove it's because like the Jutsu, right? And, Immortality wouldn't necessarily be on a technique either. Um, okay, I kind of see what you mean, but at the same time, um, like, uh, the Izanagi that I was talking about earlier, it grants a sort of immortality, I think, on Versus Wiki, it's called, like, Type 4 Immortality, uh, don't quote me on that, where he, like, if he, like, if Madara... Sage of Six Paths, whatever, whatever. If they die, they just sort of, like, respawn. Like, if they get, like, popped, like, their body dies, they just, like, respawn and then just, like, reform themselves. Uh, let me see. I think I gave you that scan, but... I'm gonna look at what type 4 is. Or is it... Uh, that might just be a regeneration. Uh, it's, it's, it's literally, like, respawning. Let me see. I think I have the... The scan, give me a second. Oh, so it's like a resurrection. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't believe you posted the scan yet, so don't, because you weren't arguing resurrection, you were arguing regen before. So, you made the show. Okay, hold on, give me a minute. All right, this might take a while. Give me a minute. All right.
That's the, uh, that's the video. Oh, wait, sorry. I dropped it somewhere else. Give me a second. Alright, in that video, Donzo uses the, uh, the ability, although a less perfected version of it, and, uh, it's, yeah, it's basically exactly what you said, it's pretty much just res. Okay. Um, where did you post it? I posted an informal, oh wait, hold Okay, there we go. It worked that time. All right, it's an informal debate. Is there a specific timestamp? Um, not exactly. This is like their fight, and Donzo uses it like I think it's twelve times in the fight. So I mean, if you go pretty much anywhere and like watch like three minutes, it'll uh, you'll see Donzo get di he'll die and then. Alright, hold on. Seems Boss Kid killed him, and then they got the slash, and then he was able to resurrect from that. Um, that's fine. Um, I don't. This still doesn't help with the whole point about Hagaromo's shit. Or the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. Oh, yeah, hold on. I think the point we were on before was that, um, you could, like, if, if it was rather not, you could, like, regen from being in a soul, or, but, you see, it's, like, dying in that case, and then just regening, like, resurrect, this, resurrection isn't the same as regen, and, um, this was specifically for, like, the point of no spirit, you brought up how moderate we could just, like, leave his body, so his body would only be put in there, but, um, if he can't do anything while in his body, right, or, if he can't, if he isn't like, if his, like, um, specifically Shantou, like, move, or like, or, to, like, resurrect, to regen from, resurrection wouldn't really help. Because resurrection is when you're killed, and, um, when you're killed, and, um, like, and you have to come back to life, but, which is what resurrection Having your soul removed wouldn't necessarily be killing them throughout the same extent. Alright, give me a second. Uh, I have I have another argument for that. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure I have the scans. So give me. A...
Well, I might have to just upscale in just in case because this has been going on for a while. Alright. Yeah, I'll give you I'll give you time. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna argue that uh he can use Izanagi for uh to rewrite the BFR as an illusion, effectively like uh making it so that he never left the battlefield to begin with. He can use what to rewrite the BFR? He's a nug. <laughs> to rewrite the BFR to make it seem like Yeah, can you show that? Wait, say again? Can you show that? Uh, hold on. Yeah, I have a scan of what, what the ability does. Alright, Yeah, it's worded a bit weird, but he can, like, rewrite anything that's not in his favor as illusion or reality. Like, he can basically just, like, turn any illusion into reality and any reality into illusion. Okay, so that's an ability Donso uses. Is that, like, Donso and that's in order? Uh, Madara has used the ability, Donzo has used the ability, um, the, the Stage of Six Paths has used the ability, Obito has used the ability. Oh, that's fine. So, like, that's fine. almost that's fine. That's fine. So, um, can you, like, show me, like, a feed of the, like, nagging, like, hacks? Like, because I'm, like, infinite can has the ability to like make like illusions quote unquote as um, real things that can you know, give them mass and shit. Like um his the clones he's created were stated to be like illusions. But um they then they're also say to have like mass and form and stuff right? so obviously can give like illusions mass and shit like that. Well that's kind of the entire like shtick of yin yang release anyway. Like I already gave you the scan of Hagaromo turning the Biju like uh, like, giving them, like, bodies and crap, and then, uh, like, from nothing. Uh, it states he can create form from nothing. So, yeah, he, he would inherently make the illusions physical. Um, Ag oh, no, you brought this up as well. You're saying he would just turn, like, the BFR into, like, an illusion, right? Yeah, to... essentially. So can you, like, show me examples of where this is going? I mean, he, he's done that with, like, his death. He's wrote off his death and his, as an illusion, so why would he not be able to do the same thing to BFR? Alright, hold on. Can you, like, show me the... Oh, sorry. Yeah, you show me well, it's, well, it's basically the... Well, a couple things uh, here, actually. Uh, give me a sec, hold up. He changed reality, uh, and, uh, you know, returned himself to life. He, 
you know, he wrote off his death as an illusion. Water, we wrote reality and return to life. Do you have instances of this being shown in the manga? Where? You have like an instance of this being shown in the manga. Um, uh, let's see. I'm, I do, but uh, it might be hard for me. Oh, by the way, uh, I'd like for us to wrap this up because I have to be somewhere in like nine. Alright, well, I guess I'll just. Upscale my character, I guess. So, I guess I'll like, create like a concrete win condition. And I guess I'll just bring up the Montax, but that'll come, coincide with the, um, yeah, that'll coincide with the upscaling, so I'll get that over with in the next one. Alright. You can upscale. I'll, see, uh, I'll keep looking for this and also for a few other things. Alright. So, um, Infinite stated to be Sonic's most powerful enemy yet, obviously. And, um, Infinite would thus be stronger than Solar. Solar is stated to be, um, a super dimensional being. Um, super dimensional, like when you translate the Japanese, it basically just means like Cho Jigen. The term Cho refers to like super, and like, you know, super is like beyond, above, shit, um, things of the sort. And, you know, dim- Jigen refers to dimensions, right? And we know, as I mentioned earlier, that space-time does exist in Sonic. So being beyond space and time, or being beyond space-time, in the context where it is the fourth dimension, well, yeah, um, that would make Solaris 5D. Uh, or it would make him a 5D being, since he's stated he's a um, super-dimensional being. And uh, Infinite would just have five, um, 5D power. And then, well, Infinite song. Uh, I can go in speed. Since super dimensionals be like beyond space and time, that would mean like Solaris's movements would like be be beyond time, right? Which um, since Super Sonic is in the other Super um, Hedgehog is able to like contend with that, um, Infinite should scale to that. That would just be like above, like like way above baseline and measurable speed. And um, for the mind hack, since that correlates with this, um. Well, for one, I'll bring up another thing. It's stated that uh, Infinite had, like, limitless power. Now, I'm not going to try to argue that as a means of, like, NLF, but I want to bring up that in the definition for Infinite, in the context where it's, like, you have, like, infinite power or whatever, the definition just brings up, like, how you have infinite or endless, something that's just, like, infinite or, like, limitless in, like, size, degree, extent, whatever. So if he has like a limitless power, it would mean he would have infinite. If he has 5D, if he's already, if I already established he's 5D, he's infinite at that point. That's infinite 5D power, which should he should also be like consistent with the fact that he can create infinite amount of clones of themselves, of himself rather. And, and you know they should be as strong as he is. So okay, we should like just support the infinite 5D run rate and um for the mind hack. So. Infinite can create like illusory worlds inside your mind, right? And um, basically, we know that like it passively kills you as you're like as you're like, tripped into believing into these illusory worlds, right? Since it's stated that like infinite has limitless power, you should be able to like create like an unlimited amount of illusory worlds inside of them. Moderate, yeah, that's what we were using. Okay, I see. Um, give me a minute, hold on. Yeah, just to let you know, I also plan on upscaling. Just give me a minute. That's fine. That's fine.
Yeah, sorry, I didn't come prepared enough, apparently. I didn't think I'd need this. Just give me a minute. What true? We're still debating. Good question. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, this is taking so long. Oh, by the way, while I'm finding this, can you drop the 5D scaling for, uh, oh, yeah. for your case? I'll share this with you All right, thanks. I posted a video. What is it called? This should be dimensional. All right, um, the timestamp should be 20 minutes and 40 seconds if the link doesn't bring it to it. Alright, thank you. Okay, uh, a couple things. Would this super dimensional thing be consistent? He only appears in one game. Okay, uh, are there games afterward? Super dimensional is never used later on. 
Okay, did they any show any uh, feats on that like five day five D level? I mean, he won, but the from the the statement would be sufficient enough. I would. Why it doesn't seem like it's consistent at all. Come on, there's no contradiction right to his statement. He's calling it super dimensional, right? Eggman, and he like knew a whole lot of shit about Solaris. He was like at the beginning of the game, like most of the plot, like one or one portion of it rather. It's infinite, or no, not infinite. It's Eggman trying to use um the power of Solaris for himself, right? But the statement itself would um need some sort of contradiction in order for it to be like inconsistent. All right, I see. I'm just going to argue that uh, Madara is outer now. Uh, okay. Why would he be outer version? Also, uh, this is another thing, but uh, there's this technique that was stated to transcend the concepts of space and distance. Uh, space in, uh, can exist in any dimension, so by extension, uh, he, uh, he would uh, be out. Um, hold on. Right, for one, I will say that I'm um, even at face value, it's like a teleportation. Right? Teleportation is like. So teleportation surpasses like that shit that doesn't necessarily mean like like your attack your own um character would do that. That specific technique would but, te oh, but te um teleportation isn't that useful anyway. Um even well, though I mean you can argue that, but there are characters that I mean you said uh something about wood. There are also characters that use wood that have been shown to fight like people who can at least destroy mountains if you lowball to the utmost. So why would, just because it's like called teleportation in the show, doesn't mean it's equal to what teleportation would be in real life. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's just like a teleportation. The teleportation alone, so it transcends concept of, the concept of space and distance. It doesn't just say anything for the powers, for like others, like relating to attack bonuses. Okay, like, they're okay. just. Okay, I see what you mean. Uh, the thing about that, though, is in the realm of Naruto, right, uh, all abilities require... Oh, I dragged you in here to tell you you're a fucking retard. ...C has to be so high in order to perform certain jutsu, and in this case, to perform a jutsu that transcends the concepts of space and distance, which, like I've already established, can be uh, in any dimension, you'd have to inherently have outerversal chakra potency. But then, that would only be the technique alone, the teleportation, not anything else. Yeah, but like I said, you'd have to have the chakra potency to accomplish a jutsu that has that sort of potency. The technique alone could just be that potent, not necessarily the chakra potent. I can drop the scan for why that would be false. You have to have enough chakra potency to accomplish a certain thing. Alright, so he's using like a specific amount of chakra to just teleport beyond the concepts of space and distance. Doesn't, again, that doesn't say anything about him. His other hacks. Like, he could have the potency to use other things. 
but but that's not shown and that's not really like stated. And I'll also ask for this like if this is like consistent in like source material. There's nothing to contradict it. And uh, I also gave you the pain scan. And that's why you have to have enough chakra and the potency to accomplish any jutsu. So if it requires, like, if the jutsu transcends uh, space, you need to have chakra that transcends space. You can't get around it. Otherwise, burden of proof would be on you to provide why it would be any different from what's established in. Hey, do you concede? I kind of have to go. Um, I was gonna um continue with you, then, but if you have to go, we can just. Move okay, I have a few more minutes. Well. That'll be fine, I guess. My finish reading is suck. Same. All right. Um, so, as I've stated before, this should only, like, the technique alone, even if, like, their potency is that level, this would only have been, like, demonstrated at best to have been used with a technique that specifically does transcend this. And I will say that if the teleportation alone transcends space and distance, um, that doesn't necessarily say, say anything for their own speed, just, like, the potency of the technique, but, um, so, infinite would still, like, be faster, and he would still be, like, mind hacks, would be a part of whatever. Okay, well, a couple things, right? Um, what Yin Yang release is, uh, I can provide some scans for that. Is it is the uh, it's it's sort of like you can consider it chakra in its purest form. Uh, I can provide scans for that. So and like the 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 Yin Yang Jutsu would inherently have like the speed of the flying Raijin, uh, or what like they say on the guide, the teleportation Jutsu. Um, I'd probably have to find the scans for that. Oh, also, uh, it stated that Jubito, when getting Yin Yang released, uh, that logic no longer applies to him. Uh, and this was directly from the manga. And uh, to be beyond logic, you'd have to be outer, since logic extends all the way up to high. That not really, that context, I need to like support that. Because um, I'm going to say beyond logic. The fact that like people can explain like that it could be explained that he is beyond logic would like contradict them. The fact that people like understand that he is beyond logic would like they show that they have like understanding of that. If he's beyond logic, they shouldn't be able to understand it at all. In like any like, Well, no one was ever shown to understand that wasn't, you know, on his level. Uh, he said he attained the powers of the shinobi ancestors. Their mental common sense and logic no longer apply to him. And it's and also you still have not addressed the pain scan. Pain, which scan was that? Which one was that? 
I, I dropped it right before the scan about the teleportation. Oh, yeah. Um, for realms, Osher, Animal, Herder, Diva, Human, Naka, Naka. This person. By the way, on the, uh, on the bottom right, um, wait, no, sorry, not the bottom, but like the, 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 not the right, but the middle, like the, like you're reading, just like the middle right there, um, like right where that box is, like right below that, the next. No, after that. Oh, they're just sending the concepts of life and, um, they only grant really good immortality that way. Transcending concepts wouldn't necessarily be artificial alone. But. Well, it'd be transcending duality, right? Because you transcend life and death. That that would be the same as transcending duality. No, 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 no. For one, let's just sum it right. Okay, life and death is a duality, but it's not necessarily of transcending the duality of life and death. And um, even then, transcending duality, like some random duality, wouldn't inherently make you out of it. You'd have to like. From my, um, from my, um, Wait, from my, why? From my understanding of oh, why, why would transcending duality make you out of it? Oh, okay, so, okay, so you don't know why. Tra okay, so duality can exist in any dimension, right? Uh, for, heck, life and death, like, specifically, like, just the concepts can exist in any dimensions, right? So, uh, so, like, because, like, in, like, high hyperversal beings can still die, right? They're not immune to death, right? So, and so, and life as well, right? They're still alive, right? So, by extension, if he transcends something that exists throughout all dimensions, would inherently make him outer. Duality exists in every dimension. Life exists in every dimension. Death exists in every dimension. So, you'd have to prove, like, 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 there's, like, actually, there's nothing you can really say. Like, just being beyond, like, either, of like, just... Like, heck, even if you just said, like, life, being beyond life would make you outer by default, because life can exist in any dimension. By that logic, um, I'll just argue, I can, I don't agree with what you're saying, but by that logic, I can just claim that infinite would be outer risk, because being beyond dimensions could mean that you're beyond the concepts, right? You're giving, like, these hypotheticals, but you need to, like, demonstrate that they are the case. And not okay. Well, also, what do you think about the logic thing uh, i don't remember that you addressed it can you address that because like like it's consistent right i've already demonstrated well i've already demonstrated that being beyond dimension is consistent um, like we don't understand everything as humans we don't even have like logical explanations for like a bunch of what or as to why certain things happen right but that doesn't mean it's like out there out of universal shit right well, that doesn't mean it's beyond comprehension. It just means you don't know about it yet. But, um, um, it's like, it's like, I'm just saying, like, that's, like a, that's a false equivalent. Um, but, if you want to look at the scan, just lobby doesn't necessarily apply. It doesn't apply to him. So that doesn't mean, doesn't mean that's 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 Okay, but logic applies to everything high hyperversal or below. Like, like logic, logic still exists in infinite dimensions. Alright. So again, even though that is the case, right, hold on, outer space, why did you un 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 that like oh logic can exist in every dimension? That doesn't necessarily like doesn't necessarily mean that they would be referring to that when they made that claim. Especially since um you would need to prove every dimension would even like, exist or like for the context even support that's referring to that in that scale. And as I said, if you wanna go with this, I can just say that the super dimensional statement would just make Solaris out of version. Because being beyond dimensions could make you beyond the concept, right? If you wanna go with these hypothetical what ifs, right? Then that would just that could right, just hold on. Just let me let me relook at your uh scan give me a Oh, wait, you said super dimensional. No, that just means, like, higher dimensional, dude. Like, you can argue high hyper at best. Like, that would be outer. In context. So, I was saying, I said, what if it could be beyond um, the concept of dimensions, right? If the concept of, like, context helps support them. Like, if there's a 1A realm, right? There's, like, us, right? Then, if you're beyond them, if you're beyond dimensions, it's likely that you could would be at that level. But I'm just saying, 
it, it could be in this case, but we don't have evidence to support that, or just like in what you're bringing up. Wait, you don't. I do. Your super dimensional is just like higher dimensional. It doesn't, in any sense, like th it's, you can't even argue it. I mean, you could try. I, I mean, you can try to argue he's like outer, but like I'll just debunk it, no problems. Well, at the same time, you just said, but the context though, when I've given you multiple examples of why this would be the case, and you just said, well, more context, but like I've gave you the context and I've explained the reasoning. Hold on, I guess we'll run it back again. All right, let's go for the logic thing, right? He's saying that since he's logic doesn't apply to him, since logic exists in every dimension, that means he's just outer version. Why can't that just mean like who wouldn't apply to like this, like a certain specific level of logic? And hold on, hold on. Even in the scan, he says your mental common sense and the logic no longer. So whoever he's like talking to, he just says, their logic just doesn't apply to them anymore. Sorry about that. What was the last thing you heard me say? I was digging down into his logic point. We brought it, we brought it. Um, so, even if we look at the scan, whoever this character is, whoever they're talking to, right, he says, I have attained the power of the shinobi ancestors. Your mental common sense and logic no longer apply to me. He's just, whoever he's talking to, he's just saying, their logic just doesn't apply to them. Right? And logic not applying to something doesn't necessarily mean like, you transcend it or whatever. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, because he, like, even, like, no matter what you say, like, he, he's talking to someone that's, uh, I, I believe they're, like, 3D, uh, at that point, if I remember correctly, but none of that really matters, right, because we're 3D, right, we can come, like, we, our logic can help explain things like Hilbert space, right, Hilbert space is infinite D, we have math equations to explain Hilbert space, right, so even if we, he's talking to them, like, your logic, okay, so 3D logic, 3D logic can comprehend Hilbert space. Hold on, can you show this character, whoever he's talking to, knows anything about, like, Hilbert space or, like, infinite dimensional structures or anything like that? They, they don't have to know about it, right. their logic right. so, can still so dictate it. Oh, so it wouldn't be within their logic if they don't know anything about it? Like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, like, what you're saying is wrong, right? So, like, their logic and knowledge are not the same thing, right? Uh... You can use logic to explain your knowledge. No, you can have knowledge of something. Like, you can know a rock exists, but, like, not know that there's a platonic rock, right? You can, th uh, on the other hand, say, know that the logic behind a rock, right, can dictate, okay, there's a rock in the third dimension, there should be a rock in the fourth dimension, all the way up to infinite dimensions, right? So, like, knowledge and logic is not the same thing. I think that's a, a misconception you seem to have. You create, like, logic, it's all based on four on understanding and knowledge and shit like that, right? If, um, if you have, like, no understanding or anything, if anything, like, anything like Hilbert space or, like, higher, like, so like infinite dimensions, right? we wouldn't be able to like explain that with this logic. We have no evidence to assume this character can even understand higher dimensions. Right? We assume that like like higher dimensions are like a, as in general, it's just like a theory. We don't have like evidence oh, that like, oh, infinite dimensions. Wait, hold on. You said I have. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to forget. Uh, so you said I I have no uh, evidence that they can comprehend it. They don't have to comprehend it. They just have to have logic, right? Three D standard logic. Uh, unless you can somehow prove that logic from, like, 3D people is, like, different for, like, in real life than in there, which you'd have to prove that, right? Burden of proof would be on you. 
because 3D logic can help to, uh, like, like ex sort of explain. Now, this is the difference, right? You can use logic to help explain things, but you don't have to. Just because you don't use logic to explain the fourth dimension doesn't mean that you, like, lo your logic doesn't apply to it, right? If you're irrational at all, which these characters would be since they're Naruto characters, and Kid Naruto, who's considered an idiot, was making a multi-step, I think it was like a 12-step plan back when he was like 12 years old, where he like transformed into a shuriken, threw the shuriken to Sasuke, made Sasuke throw another shuriken, hiding his transformed shuriken body in the shadow of the first shuriken, to like make Zabuza let go of the water prison in order for like to free Kakashi. Like, yeah, they, they use logic, and unless you can prove that their logic is somehow fundamentally different from our logic, it would inherently be able to be used to uh, comprehend, uh, you know, like, you can use it to, comp like, uh, to explain Hilbert's face. Like, it would still work. Oh, can you, like, demonstrate that the character he's talking to has that level of logic to do? Because, like, uh, uh, you can, they can potentially have that level of logic, but can you demonstrate that they do? Okay, uh, wait, hold on. So, you're saying, like, like, uh, Wow. Like, it seems like you're asking about knowledge, because that sort of question is really weird, right? Uh, whether they have that logic, right? That, like, logic is literally just being able to say, uh, think rationally, right? So you're asking me if they can think rationally? Hold on. Logic is most, more so just, like, like, your argumentation or, like, your ability to, like, it's, like, argumentation, right? So, like, can you show that they would have, their, their logic would have, like, any, like, hold over, like, higher dimension to show like that or anything like that because even if you want to you're just saying 3d logic does not apply to them right it doesn't necessarily like tell us much and Give me a minute. Hold on. Is anybody judging or moderating this? Um, we're just gonna let like the audience just like give their take. Oh take. my god, you guys! It's been like hours, right? You should have somebody like moderate it at least. How long have you guys even been debating this? Good question. Next Too time, long. next time you specifically debate you two. You two need to get moderators at least and know who the judges are because VC can be full of retards anyway. Logic reasoning conducted or assessed according to strict principles of validity, right? So as long as you can like make decisions based on validity, you have logic, right? And unless you can prove the logic in Naruto is different from the logic in real life, uh, my arguments again this is just like his argumentation and why would like that doesn't like thing beyond his argumentation doesn't mean anything wait 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 who, wait who said anything about argumentation argumentation is not i never said anything about argumentation the, the definition, definition of logic has nothing to do with argumentation so why why do you keep bringing up argument that's literally what argumentation would be like your reasoning or whatever or like how well it's conducted and shit, that would be like argumentation. It's also specifically brought it, well, pointed out as like a synonym in that paragraph. But in Argument, the argumentation is not, uh, argumentation, right? Argumentation is your ability to argue based on your logic. You don't have to like, like, then, hold on here, hold on.
argumentation, the action or process of reasoning systematically in support of an idea, action, or theory. So essentially, it's being able to say, argue your logic, right? But they're not the exact same thing. They're s similar, but not the exact same thing, right? Just because I know something doesn't mean I'm good at arguing it. If someone has watched the entire Naruto series 10 times, they might not be able to argue why Naruto is like Universal Plus, for instance, or Outerversal or something. Like, you can use your art logic to dictate things and not be able to argue it worth the crap. But again, even then, being a, like his logic not applying to them just still doesn't mean anything at all. Like, you need to show that he would have the logic to like know about these higher dimensions. Because, mo like, how do you like just having knowledge on something wouldn't necessarily mean like being about beyond someone's knowledge? You mean that you're like, be, like out of, like beyond whatever amount of dimensions thing where unless it's, I'm like, not arguing for knowledge, I'm arguing for a logic. I'm using like um a comparison knowledge and knowledge, but it's a false practice. equivalent. It's not, then it's not a false equivalence because I'm not saying it's the same thing, I'm just you're so just using knowledge is more so replaceable, right? But like, hold on, hold on. um. If a character had the knowledge of infinite dimensions, right, then being beyond their de uh, knowledge doesn't necessarily mean anything because it doesn't mean they're like surpassing the dimensions. It doesn't beyond something that like, their knowledge is not like being beyond their knowledge just doesn't like mean much at all. The logic, right? Yeah, I'll, like, wrap this up. All right, sorry about that. Got disconnected. All right, you want to go to conclusions or something? No, it's fine. Okay, so how do you want to end this off? Uh, would you like to concede or want to go to, like, judging? or Conclusions. Okay, you want to go first? Yeah, that's fine. So... Uh, this debate we just like continuously upscale our characters so by the end result i believe i had my character faster than his stronger than his and um, had win conditions via hacks that um wouldn't be nagged by it or that wouldn't be like countered by anything oh uh, yeah well that's that's pretty all right so uh i think i won because i scaled my character way higher and uh he wasn't able to debunk it properly Is that it? Pretty much. I scaled my character way higher than him. So oh, my character was listen. Really bad conclusions. Anyways. Okay. I, I hope you weren't being serious during that debate. Towards the later end. Uh, I mean, like, I was arguing it. Uh, I thought I was arguing it, you know, pretty decently. But I don't actually think it, if, if that's what you mean. I don't actually think that. Yeah, I hope you don't actually... Hold that position. Yeah, no, I don't. Okay. Okay. I don't know why that was so hard for you to debunk, Striker. You want to? I did. Not until we can debate. No, no, no I'm, I'm not going to be a debate. Either. I mean, saying I, I mean, would debunk that way fast. Striker, you, you should have just said like, their logic was like referring to like their battle strategy. Since you like obtained like a new power, and like um normal like battle strategies wouldn't like affect him since he's just so strong. Well, I specifically just brought up like why would you like have any like logic that around the like, around like spatial dimensions or whatever? Because um, yeah, because someone could have the logic to, have, but not ne they, not everyone would necessarily have the. Just the point I was making. Trying to like, if you were to, if you were to try to like bring up like we have like logic around that shit, I just like I just like we're just like uh, just like I can just argue just like a massive outlier because most niggas don't do 
versus the big strange shit. Well, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure we're a minority. Are we a minority? Can we be oppressed? Do you guys even want to judge this debate? Yeah, uh, that's what I. That's why I, what I was gonna about to bring up is like who is gonna judge. Or, uh, any, any, fine, is anyone any. here the whole time? Or did you just did you guys just have like a two hour debate for no one to judge it? I mean, Punk Rider did record it, so I, don't, I doubt anyone would sit through that. It was pretty boring. But I think Joe Joe Punky there. I think Noons was here for a while. Mm. Yo, Sark, I have a question for you. Uh, for that BFR thing, why did you not... I know why you didn't go for the soul thing, because their souls exist, but why did you drop, like, the physical so you uh, would just get the... I didn't, the vocal vocal? I didn't drop that. I said the argument at that time was basically the, the character would just be in for, like, that the um, Nardawa could just re remove his soul from his body, so and then regen or whatever. But um, when I brought it up, was that we basically don't see this regen, right? So his soul, it's the blessed like, shepherd of the book. Why couldn't you just do it twice? Just be a farm twice? It's what it's literally without it. Let's this soul would still be susceptible to it. Do, don't you think that would still mean it would be like be affected by the BFR? Sure. SMH loons. SMH. I'm not gonna lie. I can't really understand what you're saying, but I'm just going what you're saying. What? Right. I can't actually understand the word you're saying, but I can get the gist of what you're saying. Am I speaking too fast? That might be the issue. Your, your mic? That might just be for me, though. Hold on. Hey, Punk Red, are you there? Yo, 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 what's up, bro? Alright, uh, we're done debating now. You can turn off the recording. Alright, man.